What's up, Facebook Live World? Good evening and welcome to episode 9 of our Sunday night food prep. This week we are going to do our fish tacos. Boom, fish. We got lemon sole. We're doing it with a watermelon salsa. We are going to have to make a modified version of our watermelon salsa due to lack of fresh ingredients in the supermarket. However, it will still come out delicious and we will be also making our cauliflower rice recipe which is an easy one to do I know that we didn't tell you that we were gonna make it but it's easy to make and that way you can watch this later and make your own so if you are tuning in when you see me ask tell us where you're watching from say what's up what are you having for dinner? What are you preparing for the week? Are you preparing? Why are you not preparing? Get your questions answered here. Every week we will give you more and more. So if you are tuning in, also say where you're tuning in from because we have viewers from everywhere. And you know what's cool guys? I get a lot of messages during the week telling me how much these show this show is helping people and how the simple things like making eggs or going to the supermarket answers some of your basic questions. So if I can do that, then that's what this is all about. And so if you are tuning in on here, ask a question. What's up, Efrat? From Woodmere, the sis, loving the support, appreciate it. Familia, we got three people tuning in, so that's one. But anyway, going back to my point about answering your questions, guys. The idea is, I know what I'm doing. Look, for us, this Sunday night food, uh, food prep show definitely helps us eat cleaner. Not that we don't eat clean, but it makes our Sunday nights more. Hey, Lorraine. <laughs> Watching baby Anthony. I love it. Say what's up. Um, but we got it. So here's our Boston lettuce. We're going to make our tacos in Boston lettuce. So a little bit on the healthier version. We were watching the fights last night. We made some food that is definitely not on the Warrior 20. So... I've got all my, most of my vegetables ready. I'm gonna get my cauliflower rice. So, what are you preparing for dinner, Frat? What are you preparing for dinner, Lorraine? Let us know. Let's share with the Facebook community. And if there's something that you want me to make, let me know and I will make it in a future episode. So, I'm gonna just get everything set up here as we get started. We are four minutes in, so just get you guys, usually want to be a little bit more prepared, but unfortunately, grilled chicken with string beans, delicious. What's for dinner, Lorraine? Let us know so we can get other people understanding that it's not as difficult as you make it out to be, people. All right, try to make sure that you're being consistent with your healthy meals, and before you know it, you're gonna get the bottom you want. So, we got parchment paper, we're gonna put that down on a baking sheet, and put that off to the side. I'm gonna take out my fish. So, Fraud, here's the deal. What else are you making other than the string beans with the chicken? So you have food prepped for tomorrow, that's, also a very important question are you just making food for tonight 
Because if you are, then you're you're actually cheating yourself. You can make food for tomorrow lunch and Monday night di dinner. And then maybe tomorrow night when you come home, that would be for Tuesday. And that way you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself and not playing catch up every night when you come home, especially since you have a young baby. So we're gonna cut up our fish into small pieces before we season it. Okay. So once we do that, we will move the camera again. But nice piece of fish, lemon sole, okay. I'm gonna cut it into half inch pieces. So we can take a look what a half inch piece looks like. About the size of a thumb. We spread it all over. Now you're saying, oh, why, why are you cutting it now? And it's so small. Because I want all the fish to be flavorful. All the pieces. Because we are going to make it into tacos. And therefore, we want to make sure every bite is full of flavor. Since we didn't really have that much time to marinate the fish, we want to make sure that... The fish has good season, good flavor in each bite, and we don't want to over season it as well. So sometimes that can happen. So, lay the fish across here. So, what's nice about the fish, also, I'm gonna I'll wash my hands real quick, but just giving it a little cut, you know, you don't have to cut all the way through the piece of fish, it will break down as you cook it because the fat the fibers in the fat break down through the cooking process so quick rinse my hands here all right we got our cauliflower rice that's going to go with some broccoli string beans and jalapenos okay give me one second guys i'll be right back So that's the oven calling us guys. Sorry about that. I had to run out for one second. So the oven is ready. And now we're going to start making our salsa because really it's the fish is going to take about eight minutes tops. So we want to prep our salsa while the fish is going to cook. The salsa is going to, you know, blend the juices. So I'm going to get a small bowl here. Okay. So I have watermelon from last night that we cut up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that watermelon and I'm going to chop it nice and fine so you'll see I have some watermelon pieces here okay so I want to make sure I'm cutting that watermelon nice and small so when I do combine it in the salsa it's not so massive so I want to cut like almost quarter inch pieces okay so almost like you dice a tomato actually it's even easier because the watermelon is nice and sturdy so I cut them so we cut them into little squares last night for guests and then we have leftovers so it's even easier and you see it's nice look it almost looks like diced tomatoes okay do that with this one All right, so that's our, that's our, look at that. There's our diced watermelon. Okay, that's gonna go into the bowl. Thank you. All right. Then we have our lime. So guys, if you're tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from. Again, you know, I wanna thank everyone that is tuning in. We wanna be able to give you guys all the information that you need to make the meals you need to get ready for the week because sometimes that is the biggest struggle that people have is is getting their foods prepared for the week and not rushing home and not knowing what they're going to have and then you end up eating the wrong things and you not, don't have a balanced diet so when you prep we got a good amount of 
watermelon here. Pick my red onion. Rinse that off real quick. Cut that in half. Okay. So usually I'd like to use a bigger knife when I am doing uh, an onion, but right now I just want to try and do this quick for you guys so you can see what we're doing here. So we got our watermelon chopped. We're gonna chop our onion real quick. Okay. If you don't, if you've never seen how to cut an onion very finely, you can check out our nutrition food prep seminar that I did. It's up on our YouTube site, and if you really want to see it, let me know, comment in the link. I will post the link for you. So we got our red onions chopped very fine. So we want all our vegetables, and obviously the fruit in this case, to be chopped evenly. Okay, remember, if you guys didn't see earlier, I posted my little uh, shopping trip to the supermarket, and I could not get fresh cilantro, and unfortunately, we do not have any fresh cilantro at home so and I couldn't get any fresh avocados which really bothered me so today I'm gonna have to make a modification on this salsa okay usually I would add avocados as well and fresh cilantro in today's case I'm gonna just check it out real quick one more time in the fridge to see if I have so I put my onions and my uh, watermelon in here there's a half a lime is the other half okay now for the excuse me for the um for the fish i'm going to marinate that in a second just to take a look you see i cut it into little pieces it was a large fillet of lemon sole Again, wild caught, so we always want to make sure it stays wild. Quick wardrobe change here, guys. I'm going to make sure we are branded out for you. So, it's a little hot in here with the oven on. Alright, so we got our, we have our, boom, PSW, now we're back. Alright, so we have our, our tomato, our onion, and uh, and watermelon. I have my jalapenos here. I'm gonna cut that up real quick. So, nice jalapeno. Rinse that off. Okay, we like it a little spicy. So, I'm gonna leave the seeds uh, mostly in. But if you don't like it spicy, what you would do here is you take the knife, dig it in, I'll do a little bit, and you just turn it, turn it inside, and that's gonna break up all the veins and all the seeds. And then you just go to the garbage and, and pull it all out, okay? It's gonna be a lot easier. And if you really want, you can rinse it out in the sink. So the oven is set to 450, okay? I'm gonna cut this, so you see, now it's cleaned out, look at that. You don't have to do anything. Just take the knife and twist it around a little bit. And remember, we do like it a little bit spicier than, you know, most people. So I like to keep the seeds in. I would recommend if you don't like the heat, definitely rinse out all the seeds so you don't get a big burst. And also, I don't really feel much in my, the tips of my fingers. So I can cut a jalapeno with no gloves on. Some people have very sensitive skin. I don't recommend it. And then I, if you are gonna wash, if you are gonna do this with your bare hands, definitely make sure you are rinsing your hands off very, very thoroughly after. Otherwise, you will regret any orifice you stick your fingers in or any part of your skin you touch because it will burn. So, I got my jalapenos chopped, just a second. I got my lime squeezed and juiced in there. All right, we got our watermelon in there. We have some viewers, guys, let us know where you're watching from, say what's up. Let us know what you're eating for dinner. If you are in the area, 
of making dinner now. Let us know. Or if you ate, what did you have? All right, guys, let us know what you're prepping for your meals. So we got our salsa. It's just about ready. Okay. I'm going to draw. I don't, I unfortunately do not have fresh cilantro, which is a major bummer and is very uncommon in this house. We love cilantro. So I'm going to just put a little bit of dried cilantro. The lime juice will rehydrate it a little bit, but still not the same as the fresh, but you got to have it. It's a very important ingredient for this. So I'm going to just mix this up. Our salsa will be good and ready to go. Okay. So we got our red onion, our jalapeno, our watermelon. Remember, if you didn't watch the episode earlier, we turkey meatloaf with Mexican zucchini. What is Mexican zucchini? What does that mean? Is that Mexican spiced zucchini, Marcy? Because I'd love to know what the recipe is so we could share it with all our other viewers. Sharing is caring. All right, so we're going to drop some... Fresh cracked black pepper in there. Okay. Some sea salt. We love sea salt. Sea salt Trader Joe's. Love sea salt. Okay. And then we did our one lime. And our avocados, like I said, we don't have. So it will be... So normally I would add the avocado... I would add the avocado in here, and as well as the fresh cilantro, and that would be the salsa. So the fish, I'm going to show you guys the seasoning we're going to use real quick, and then we're going to make that. We're going to put that in the oven, and while that cooks, we're going to make our cauliflower rice, and that's going to be our Sunday night food show prep for this week. So right now, I'm going to grab, and uh, so you have two kinds of chili powders, guys, when you go to the supermarket. You got ancho chili powder and chipotle chili powder okay here we're going to use the chipotle we like a little more heat if you don't like the heat go with the ancho chili powder and it may not say ancho it just may say chili powder chances are it is ancho chili which is just a little bit of a flavorful chili not so much heat so we do like the heat we're going to go with the chipotle so I'm going to season these real quick, and I'm going to put some salt on them, and then they're going to go in the oven. And when it comes out, I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of, I mean, it's, we're making tacos, so we're going to sprinkle it with lime juice, okay? We're not like having tacos, we're going to do a lettuce wrap. We got Boston lettuce that we bought as well, all right? So, show you guys real quick. Not too fancy. You don't have to get over. Don't overthink it. Make it simple. Look, there's our fish, chopped up into little pieces. It's going in the oven at 450 for the next eight minutes. And in that eight minutes, I'm gonna make my cauliflower rice. Look, you turn that on. Turn on your timer so you don't overcook the fish. Okay, very important. Turning on your timer. All right, so our fish is going in. Our cauliflower rice is about to get ready. So let's put you guys at an angle where you can see what's going on. Let's see. Ah. Guys, if you have any questions in the meantime. All right, so Marcy's giving us the recipe, guys, for her Mexican zucchini. You got garlic, zucchini, tomatoes, green onions, jalapenos, cilantro topped with feta optional. Yes, recipes on skinnytaste.com. Whoa, there you go. So, you see guys, even though we give you the recipe, it's so easy. Marcy knows, she's one of our members, one of our students at TFW Long Island, and she knows if you do the homework, you get the results, I can tell you that. She has definitely gotten some major results and she is a hard, hard worker. So we're getting heat over here. All right, we're gonna drop some grapeseed oil. Why do we use grapeseed oil? Because it is what you use for cooking. You do not use olive oil for cooking. If you're using olive oil for cooking, stop immediately. 
you are killing yourself, okay? And I'm not joking about that either. It sounds pretty wrong, but guess what? It's when you cook oil past its smoking temperature, you're creating a carcinogen. And carcinogens kill you. So, we got our broccoli, organic broccoli. Spend the extra dollar if it is. Whatever it costs, spend it. It's worth it. Give your body what it wants. Organic, good stuff. All right, so we're gonna rinse that off. I'm gonna chop the head off. All right. That's too big of a knife. All right, wait. Got the kitchen knife. All right, so again, guys, if you're tuning in, let us know where you're watching from so we could shoot, shout you out. Shout, look, broccoli going in. Woo! That's what happens when you, uh, you wash the broccoli and then there's some water left over. So, you see right away I took the pan off the heat, let the water die down. Alright, you see? Control it. Don't let it get out of control. And notice I am not anywhere near it. So this time before I put the broccoli on, I'm going to make sure I rinse it off. So, if you are tuning in, say what's up. We got some viewers, but I don't see anybody saying what's up. Uh, I want to see what we can help you with, guys. This week, the fish is an easy recipe. The salsa is done. The cauliflower rice is going on. All right. We got our broccoli cooking. Turn the exhaust on so the fire marshal doesn't come. If you don't think he's been here before, he has. <laughs> we like to cook and sometimes it makes smoke. What do you want me to tell you? Our sensors are very sensitive. But broccoli's cooking off. I'm going to cut up a jalapeno. Alright. going to be a spicy cauliflower rice. All right, so right now, we got our jalapenos going in. Green. Throwing a lot of green in here. Guys, I want to thank you every week for watching these. You know, we may not get a lot of viewers and we're definitely not getting a lot of comments. You know what though? I get some messages during the week and those make make it count. So I know that I'm helping at least one person. You know what? That's what matters, so if you are getting something out of this, I really, you know, I want to thank you for taking the time to, to learn and, you know, and allowing me to help you get what you're looking for, because really, that's what it's all about, guys, is trying to get you what, what you're looking for. You know, we're pretty, we're pretty fortunate that, you know, we're very um, consecutive with the, our eating habits and the way we have our lifestyle that we're very aware of and health conscious of what we eat. So just trying to be able to help other people that are looking to make a change and have no idea what to do. You know what, share share this with them because there's so many people out there that need our help that have no clue and they really, they want to, they trust me, they want the help. They just don't know where to start. So maybe watching this would be a start for them. You know what? If you, if you share with them, you're gonna be helping them make that start. And then before you know it, you, they're making a big life change and you had a lot to do with that. So guys, definitely, you know, if you are watching these, 
share them. Share them on your page. Share them on your Facebook page. Don't be ashamed. These are, you know, if you're getting something out of it and you enjoy it, then definitely have other people watch it as well because, you know, that's what it's all about. It's the more we share, the more we can help one another, the better we're all going to be, you know, the better off we're all going to be. So, you know, that's, that's my part in this whole crazy thing is trying to be able to give you guys as much content, whether it's training or, you know, I've found that food is definitely, listen, coach, this is what I do, guys, I, I, own, I own a gym, you know, we, we help people transform their lives, and one of the major issues people have is with learning how to food prep and getting their meals right, and if I know that, then I'm going to apply the actions and the strategies that I know they're going to help you with that, and so that's what these are all about, is taking taking action, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing people are, are lacking is, is taking, a, taking action, take action, if you don't take action, it's never going to happen, I mean, no chance, you know, so, you know, that's, that's what I try to do, I try to help you take the action necessary to get what you want, so, here we go, we're back to cooking, just so, you get off a little bit of the mental mindset a little bit. So we're back on the so we got our broccoli and our peas and jalapenos in here. We're gonna throw some eggs in. Oh boy, our fish is gone. So our fish is give it another couple minutes. I'm gonna add another four minutes to that. So we're gonna go 12 minutes total time. All right, now I got some eggs. I'm gonna crack these bad boys in here. All right, I'm gonna go four eggs. That's what we usually do, four eggs in here. If you have a bigger family, we can go with more. We're just two people, so I'm gonna go, I'll go five eggs. With five eggs. One head of broccoli, about a half a bag of, of peas. So we got our our, uh, our broccoli, our jalapenos, and our eggs cooking. All right, remember, you wanna cook the eggs fast, so scramble them. And then once those are ready, I'm gonna throw the cauliflower in, because that takes really no time. Some broccoli, I'm just gonna cut that up. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. I don't recommend doing this, not good for your pan. So I put the spatula underneath it so I'm not cutting the metal on the pan. Alright, so we got our cauliflower rice almost ready. So we drop the soy sauce. We are going to add instead of the sriracha this week, we are going to use a garlic and chili oil paste. So just uh, two tablespoons of that here because we like it a little spicier. So that's our cauliflower rice. We'll be ready to go in just one second. Put my bag of cauliflower. And go. So that is that. I'm going to bring the heat down on this. So medium heat. Stir thoroughly. Just try not to get the cauliflower all over the place. 
that is the only downside on these meals is that sometimes the tile flour gets a little messy. If you have a wok, maybe that'll work a little bit better. I don't really like to cook in a wok. But this four feeder Japan is pretty good. So just again thoroughly mixing that all in. A very cruciferous uh, rice here. Definitely not on the rice, but you know what? That is it's the idea behind it. it it's, a, it's a nice way to get your broccoli and your cauliflower into your diet. It's starting to form into a beautiful cauliflower rice here. So let me just give this another stir. And then I'm going to cover it for a minute with some water just to steam everything up a little bit. And we are going to be good to go for dinner. All right, so that's the oven for the fish. Pull the fish out right away. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. So our fish is done. All right. Our cauliflower rice is done as a fish. Let's see. I'm gonna put that on a plate. Put that into some tacos. I'm going to use the Boston lettuce as our taco. I don't know what Boston lettuce looks like. Give me one second. Let me open this up. And the reason we use Boston lettuce and not regular lettuce, if you check it out, guys, right here, hold on. So you see, the Boston lettuce has nice sized leaves to it. Look at that. So big leaf okay pull it at the bottom or you could just twist the bottom right off and it will give you a whole bunch of big leaves so I'm gonna rinse these off but you can see how nice these are for making you know hand little handsome little pocket tacos I guess it's a little pocket little so we're going to wash these off real quick and then we're going to have dinner. So guys, just want to say thank you very much if you were tuning in. Let us know if you have any questions or comments as far as nutrition and what portion sizes you should be having. So about four ounces of fish per person, five ounces, six ounces if you're a little bit bigger like myself. So just a little bit under a pound for the two of us. We're gonna have about three to four of those lettuce wraps each with the watermelon salsa that I will post a picture of on here so you guys can see what the finished product looks like. But once again, guys, thank you so much, Marcy. It is looking good. It smells really, really good, and I cannot wait to eat some. So that's where I'm gonna say good night, guys. Thank you again, guys, for making these possible. If I didn't have any viewers, I'd probably still make them. But because of the awesome feedback that I'm constantly getting from people that are watching these, I want to say thank you again. And once again, join us next week for episode 10. We're going to hit double figures. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Guys, have a fantastic end of the weekend. We will see you guys next week. And those of you that train at Training for Warriors Long Island, we will see you there. If you don't, Get your butt to TFW Long Island. We're running a 28-day challenge now. You are crazy if you don't jump on it. Okay? Have a good night, guys. Coach Amir, thank you.